Hey guys, it's MJ, the student tech tree, and I wanted to make a video on the stock market. So if any of you guys are thinking of playing in the stock market, then you've come to the right place. I mean, the joys of the stock market. It's a place where your choices can make you a lot of money. I mean, most people studying finance, uh, you know, their goal is to be the next Warren Buffett and become one of the richest men in the world. And I mean, why, why work hard building your own company when you can select a few promising stocks and relax while the money just pours in? But if this is your thinking, then stop. Let's just take a step back because I'm sorry to say, but it's not that easy. Before we continue talking about stocks, I just want to share with you a famous fable about a swallow. The, the fable goes... Um, as follows. There was a man who, who loved to spend and it was the start of spring so it was still very cold but he had a, a nice warm coat. Um, anyway he sees a, a single swallow flying into his town and he's like well oh my gosh summer has come early so he goes out and he sells his coat and he spends the money straight away only to find out later that the swallow has died from the cold. And without his coat and with no money to buy one back, he too froze. The lesson being that one swallow doesn't equal summer. Now, what does this fable have to do with finance and the stock market? Well, everything. The average person uh, watching this video is most likely a university student uh, you know, studying some sort of financial degree. And, I mean, this is an amazing time of your life as you're learning a whole bunch of new things and you're sharing your ideas with your peers. I mean, it's great. And I'm sure some of you have probably thought, hey guys, why don't we start investing in the stock market? You know, we're a bunch of smart individuals. We can do this. And, I mean, you're going to back yourself because you've gone to so many classes. You've learned so many formulas. I mean, you know about economics and how the world works. I mean, I'm sure you guys are probably even thinking about like how you're going to be spending all your new riches. I mean, how hard could it be? I mean, oil prices are dropping. The simple, short petroleum companies, you know, easy money. A newspaper publishes a story, you know, the market is definitely going to react in this sort of way. Or, oh, interest rates are increasing. Surely I must buy into a financial firm. Or, Oh, look, look at this pretty graph. It's a definite indicator to buy into this asset class now. If that's your thinking, wait. Just, just, just wait. Remember, one swallow doesn't equal summer. Well, let's check it out. That oil company, they might have used financial instruments to distance its sensitivity to oil price shocks. That new story, well, it could just be a rumor. That financial firm, well, it might be under investigation by the regulators and you've just overpaid for the price of that share. Or the graph pattern breaks down and isn't as predictive as you thought. You know, you can end up losing a lot of money very quickly on the stock market. You know, trading is a full-time job. And if you're going in at varsity, you're competing with millions of professionals who have had years of experience behind them. And I just want to show you something known as the Dunning-Kruger effect. And what this graph is saying is our confidence increases with just a little bit of knowledge. As we learn more, we realize we're not that smart and it goes down until we become an expert when our confidence rises again. Right now, in university, or if you just come out, you're to the left of this graph. This is, this is also where I am at, at the moment. Okay? We have a little bit of, mo of knowledge and we think we understand the market. You know, we are so overconfident about our abilities. And trading on the stock market is not easy. So please don't, don't fool yourself. And so the wisdom or the pearl of wisdom that I want to share with you guys is that just like how one swallow doesn't mean it's summer, one indicator doesn't predict the market. So go out there. I mean, read as many books as you can on the market, but remember to look at a company holistically before you invest. Just because oil prices went down doesn't mean all the petroleum uh, stocks are going to decrease. Okay, Don't be overconfident like that. 
do your homework, look at their financials, see what their, you know, what their hedging strategies are, look at their risk management, you know, just, just engage yourself with, uh, with the company and look at everything, you know, make sure you've thought of all the indicators before you make your move. And yeah, that's, that's about it. I mean, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. But uh, if you are keen to play the stock market and you do want to have the best education you know, to equip you for this task, then maybe you should consider studying actuarial science. Now, I've, a link should be appearing somewhere on the screen, which will take you to my other video, which explains what actually an actuary is. Um, check it out because it is one of the professions, along with accountants and CFAs, that really just trains your mind for looking at multiple indicators and making sure that you do uh, make lots and lots of money on the stock market and that you don't just lose it all. But yeah, that's all I have time for. Thanks so much, guys, for watching. Cheers.